Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tricky Brickies, where I am working behind some private gates in an absolutely beautiful house. And I'm going to be working at the bottom end of the garden. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be capping off these walls with brick on edge. Well, sort of brick on edge. They've been done in a different way, which I've never laid before. Right, so we're going down now to Travis Perkins in Chelmsford this time. And we're going to go and find a match to these bricks. The bricks that have been laid on this job already are being frogged. They've been laid frogged down. They've got a bit of a pitting in the back of them. They're a stock, they're not a wire cut brick. So, I'm going to go and find the best I can, as always, to match these in with what I've got to, with what I've got to pick, you know what I mean? I don't know what's going to be in this Travis Perkins, I've never been to it before, so fingers crossed they've got something, because that's where I have to get my stuff from, I'm governed to Travis Perkins. <laughs> so, let's just see what we can do, we need to get 200 of them. 200 of these it's a few in it 200 I've got to cut three quarters and I've got to cut halves so today is going to be pretty much get the materials and get all the cutting done and then we'll see where we are after that but I'm only going to get bricks I'm not going to get any sand or anything I'm not laying anything today just prep work because I've got to do another job today in Mersey Island. I've got to go and bed something on round, the, round this guy's house. I've got to go and bed a ridge tile on round somebody's house and something else, about half a bucket of muck. So I'm going to go and do get the materials, get all the cutting done, get ready for laying it on Monday. Boom! While I've been sat here in traffic, just remembering old times and stuff. And when I went and did a job uh, in America, built a garden wall in America, and Robert showed me something with a grout bag. How they point up, how, how these bricks have been laid, it's like frogged down. Now for me to build them in that way, it's a pain in the arse. It's an absolute pain in the arse. You've got so many faces, you have to perp up and squeeze in. It's a real fiddly, fiddly job. You're forever pushing in to the work you've just laid and pushing it out. So I think the best way is to set the whole things on. Um, so I'm going to go along, I'm going to cut all my cuts, put a bed down, set all of these bricks on in their positions. I'm then going to come along, like what we did in America with the grout bag, once they're all set, I'm going to come along with a grout bag and fill them all up, like I would do tiles. I think this would be the best way to do this job. So we're going to bring back an old friend, the Hallisey Grout Bag. <laughs> well, I'm at Travis Chelmsford now, just grabbing my bricks. 200 of them in the back of the Merc. This guy thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> we'll get them in here. We're going to get them in. Trust me, they'll fit. 200 in there, boys and girls. Go on. Right, moment of truth. Pretty similar, aren't they? Pretty similar, they're just aged a bit. A bit bright at the moment, but they'll die down. Yeah, I don't think they're far off at all. Nice. See, that's quite a red one. Like this one. Yeah, they're not far off at all. Happy with that. I don't think that's a bad match. <laughs> right, so now we have the bricks. Would you believe I've got that amount of bricks in the back of my Merc? Well, I've got them as well. <laughs> so now we've got 200 bricks down here. I'm going to set myself up on my sheet. I'm going to do all my cuts. I'm not going to bore you with a video of me showing you cutting bricks. But basically, I'm going to be cutting all of these 
some of these into halves and some of these into three quarters. I'm going to measure these, see what we've got here. I'm going to make all these corner pieces as well. I'm going to make all these corner pieces. What it looks like we've got overall is two nine. So we've got a 170 and a 180. Uh, 170, sorry. And a 110. I'm going to make them... Yeah, so they're straight in half. The bricks are straight in half and then we've got... A 170, 165, 29, 29 overall. So if I cut a brick straight in half, that's going to be 110. Leaves me 18 perp, 10 mil leaves me 17. 170s, 110s, nice. This really is a lovely place. I protected the ground here a bit while I'm cutting so the plants don't get covered in dust. What a lovely garden. Beautiful. There you go, one tank of fuel in the skill saw there. Done me all of those cuts, there's about 150 cuts there. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting through the cuts anyway. Got a little bit of juice left in the can there, so we're going to get these last few cuts done. Then it's time to clear up all of this dust. The sheet's done really well protecting behind me there, so we shouldn't have much to clear up at all. There we go. Beautiful. 120 of each there. And I worked it out as 127 all the way around, but that didn't include the mitered corners, which need eight bricks per mitre. So we've got one, one, two, three mitres to do. So that's 24 bricks. What have I got left here for cuts? Yep, we've got enough. Lovely, I'm gonna do the mitres on the day I lay them. See how these lie because they look all right, but you never know if it's a complete right angle until you get on there and working. Looks pretty damn good to me though. Lovely. Nice. Right, it's time to clear all this stuff up now. Get this all nice and tidy because I'm not back here until it's Friday now. The people are going away and it's all locked gated community so I can't get in here. So I'm going to be back here the following Monday, the 27th. Oi, oi. There we go. All tucked up. The whole kit for the wall. Safely cut wrapped up ready for when we come back so it's going to stay nice and dry under there happy days i've also cleared off all the edges on this uh, wall here got all the loose and all the rubbish that was off there all the the loose bits off of all off of all the work so that when i come back i'm literally knocking up the gauge i can start laying happy days right we are back so let's knock up a gauge get this started okay so I've knocked up some with me whisk normal mix I do in there two bags of sand and about a third of a bag of dust just the stuff you get out of Travis you know the, the 20 kilo bags or whatever they are yes so the bead they've put on there is bang on level which is nice so I'm going to run this course through here first of all, get my bed on this part. Right, I'm going to set up for my first line now. This corner piece is all going to be like mitered here. So I'm going to start full this side, get my measurements correct and then work out this to, from here to here. Then I'll run this piece in and then I'll work my mitre. Then I'll do the same there and then run into that. We've got a few bricks on here now. So let's get some bed on. And start laying right I've just measured out the what I need to and this is where my first brick comes that's 15 mil but it's 30 320 overall so a 15 mil overhang leaves it 305 to the first brick right so I'm not putting the perps in these I'm gonna fill these in with a the grout bag later 
So I'm going to keep these at 290, the same as the other ones. I've just noticed that this wall is thinner than that wall, so our overhang is actually 20 mil either side. But as long as it's all even, I don't think the overhang is really going to make a big difference. It's only 5 mil, and it's the underside of it. Plus, this one's a little bit higher as well off the ground, so. So anyway, I'm going to keep an eye on these by getting a nice 2.9 measured there. Set a few up here. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll set up some lines through there. And I'm going to place all of these in. Make sure they're all flush with a level both ways. This way and this way. Then we know we're going to be good when I come to pointing. That's got a bit of a rock on the bottom of that brick. Let's give that a bit more of a tap into place tiniest little bit that's better nice All right, 110 each that's 10 there now 8.80 to the end works out exactly right to the end. Jackpot. Everyone says that this muck looks really stiff, but it's not. It's really not. I think it's because when I whisk it, when I do the mix with a whisk, it fluffs it up more. It makes it more fluffy. And I think that's why it looks like it's stiff. It's not stiff at all. I actually quite like it like this. Right, let's get these in then. Now I've set my lines up. All I've got to do is get the arrows to the brick there to the line. Do the same with the small. Get the arrows to that to the line. And that'll be the, the 290 that we're looking for, the correct overhang. Then all I've got to do is range them between the two. And if they're level, we're good. Nice. So I can just work my way along now like that. Just keeping an eye that I'm staying engaged this way because I don't want to get to the other end and be too tight that I can't get the last brick in. So I keep an eye on my gauge as I go along just to make sure I'm staying with the 110 gauge. A little one like that, and it keeps them nice. That's a pancake fat. Nice.
nice, all the way through there. Brilliant. Let's check that gauge. Yeah, we are 110 and I've got another 10 mil, which is the extra perk. 11010. Brilliant. 11010. We're on the track for being correct. Pop them on. Into place. Looking good. Except for, I didn't measure it right, did I? Wrong way round. That's all right, I'll just take these off and swap them round. It's only two bricks either side. We'll get that looking PG clean. Ding. Here we go, I'm set up now for my second run. Both ends. So I'll run this bad boy in now. Then I'll do that one as I say. Then we'll come back and sort out these corners. I'm not going to be able to lay that one. We're going through nicely there guys and girls. Got just enough muck there. Get them on. We can knock up another gauge. And the sun's come out. What could be better? It's starting to look good. All nice, touching good. Nice and level. Yeah, boy. Okay, now we've got all of these in, both directions. It's time to set out what we're going to do here. There we go, that's the way I've done it. That looks the best there, I think. I don't think that looks bad at all for that corner. And this is what it looks like handed. Doesn't look too bad at all, eh? Nice. Boom. Now, time to tackle this one. Just gonna come along under here now. Give these a little finish underneath here because we're gonna let this bit all set first, you know? So we give this a little finish underneath here. Now be ready for jointing tomorrow morning then. Good. And there's another corner. It's in the bushes. <laughs> it's got a little 
bit more lining for it to do here to squeeze them up a little bit but yeah that's looking nice so there we are we're set up through here now ready to run in again I think I've got to tighten up about 25 mil for this one we'll see I'll put the measure on it there we go all the way through there just a couple short just to finish this off gonna do them now I think it's four of each lovely old job so now it's time to fill these bad boys up we're gonna get the grout bag out we're going to wet some muck up so we can force it through the grout bag, through the nozzle. If it's normal stiff gear, you try and squeeze it through the grout bag and it all clogs up. So you want it a bit wetter to make it force through the tiny hole. So I'm just knocking some up now with my old whisk. Nice. Nice creamy mix I've got there. What I like to do is just turn the nozzle over, stand on it on my foot, and I can get a load in there. You don't want to go too mad filling these up. That amount in there is plenty. Now you know, I think that gear is just a little bit too stiff. I'm going to wetten up some more. go nicely filled all the way around the whole job 
Now for the finishing. So what I normally do is go along and strike all one side like I'm doing weather struck. First of all, get them nice and smooth. And I'll let them go off just a little bit if the gear's a little bit wet like it is now. Then I'll come along the other side, strike down, take off any surplus, little scrape. Try and keep as much off of it as possible at this stage. And let's run along gently, one way, and I'll push into the other, run along the other. Just get it nice and smooth, make sure it's nice and full. There we go. And it gives it that sort of effect. Now once I've brushed that off, that little bit has gone dry. I'll let that leave that now and let that go dry and give that a little brush off in a bit. And they'll look lovely. There we go, all birds beaked. Right the way round. Yo. Let that dry right off again now. Let the air get to it. It's not freezing, but it's cold. So we're gonna have to leave that now for the rest of the day. And then I brush that right at the end. I'm going to start on this lot now. Finishing these ones now that they're all full. And they've been going off while I've been doing this. Try and get a finish over here. Now I'm coming along and just doing these little bird beaks. On the side here. I'll sort of push it in one direction first. And I come down and I'll sort of scribe it down. And this bit I can scratch off. But I'm sort of leaving it a little while just to dry a little bit because it interferes with it but gently gently we get nice I've got to do that all the way all of them There we go, that's all of that lot done. All birds beak through there. Nice. I've just got one last little brush off to do on this section. Over here's nice now. All of them looking well. 
So I'm going to clear up my tools and just leave my brush out and give it a last final brush off at the end. But yeah, it's looking nice. Woo! Corner's looking good. Yeah. So there we go. Jobs are good and all complete. Happy days. Another successful mission by the Tricky Bricky. If you've enjoyed this episode, guys and girls, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. But until then, peace out. And... Oh, fucking my tooth flit.